Hello there, EDF friends. Uh, welcome to my Let's Play of Earth Defense Force um, Insect Armageddon. I wanted to uh, play this game since the Iron Rain just recently came out, and just another another a, uh, attempt at a uh, more Western type of Earth Defense Force game. So, just want to see how this lives up in my memory. Um, I did play this game quite a bit um, when it first came out. I maxed out two characters, I believe, and bought all their weapons, which took a long time in this game because you had to grind credits in this game to do so, but it's been a while, and all I remember is it being short. That was the only thing that really didn't care for. Um, it did have, you know, online co-op, of course, and it had survival mode as well, which was nice, uh, survival mode. And then a campaign remix, which was a very cool idea, where you could play the missions again, but they would remix, like, the enemies would be different, um, with, as far as what would spawn, so it's kind of cool. You never know what you would expect. You can turn bots on or off. Um, I'm going to keep them on, I guess. I'm going to try hard. Um, I do have um, some save progress in this game, Strike force lightning. but um, here. what I want to do is, it's been a long time, I'm probably just going to play on As hard, you know, Earth is under and I'm going to um, try the and different classes, try all the different classes, and then go from there. I'm not sure what I'm going to do after that. These invaders, ravages. An so, oops, I did not mean to go, oh my goodness, sorry, I did not mean to hit ready, sorry. Um, I think I'm going to start with Jet Lifter, um, or <laughs> whatever they're called uh, in this game. Let's see what they're called. Um, I think that's the, the, the class I played the least amount on, if I, want, if I remember correctly. Strike Force Lightning. EDF operations here. I will be your acting operation. I do remember um, As you know, a lot of, is under a lot of segments where you're actually in the entities, ship and you're shooting and like a, a gun from the, the drop insects. ship, which is interesting. We're calling these invaders ravages an apt name as they are currently ravaging cities around the globe listen to this a particularly large ravager has been listen reported in a residential a area of new detroit your mission is to locate and eliminate it i will be monitoring your progress via your camera system to provide routing and task information as needed op4 is composed of massively large insectoid creatures as well as robotics the good news is our weapons seem effective against the ant-like insectoids Robots are tougher, and we're seeing more and more of them. The Ravagers have been hitting us hard, but we're holding ground where we can. They've been erecting some type of shield walls that have made things very difficult. They can get through them. We can't. Alright, so there are four classes in this game. Um, there's a Fencer, which is kind of like a... Uh, or kind of like a Fencer, it's called a Battle. Um, battle Armor. Um, he does have a shield, which is cool. Remember this guy having a shield, and he had a couple abilities with the shield as well. It wasn't just holding the shield up, which allowed you to shoot your feet with rocket launcher. As long as you held your shield up, you could take anything, including the genocide can, which you unlock later. Um, the jet lifter, or this called the jet jet armor, um, was able to fly, of course. I think that's all. They all had their different weapons, which was something I liked. I prefer that, actually. Tactical was like the aerator, but it wasn't no airstrikes, it just he had turrets, mines, stuff like that. And then Trooper um, was, he reloaded faster and revived comrades a lot faster as well. It was almost like an instant revive, which was cool. Excuse me. Alright, so I'm going to start, like I said, with the jet, jet armor to start here. Um, so on hard, I can use up to tier... I don't know what I can use. All I have is tier 2 unlocked, so I don't know if that's strong enough on hard, we'll see. So we have grenade launchers... Remember the Goat Strike being pretty good. May not the tier 1 version, but... Um, let's see, this thing does 99 damage times 1.3 a second. Assault Rifle... I'm not sure if my jet is strong enough for hard, we'll see. 4 times 16 times three a second. That sounds decently strong. What is that? 40, 60, 64 times three. So 180 a second. What is a blast? A seven meter blast. That is pretty bad. Well, let's take let's take the Pestilox, whatever. It's weird words. And let's take... Is this thing any better? 42 times 5. That's actually stronger. I'm going to buy that. It's only 500 credits. Okay. So did I equipped it then? Yes, I did. Okay. 
Alright, so let's go ahead and get started here. Hey Phil, how about lighting up some of those bugs down there? Those people can use a little love from above. Yeah, this part was interesting. You could kill a few enemies early on. We need to deploy your squad at the edge of this residential district. That is the operational. I don't think it gave you any benefit later on in the mission. It did give you money though, because the score is your money, I believe, in this game. This person is such a bad driver, it's so hard to hit anything the way they drive. I guess he's dodging stuff to be fair though, so we'll give him that. So I think this part right here, you actually can kill some enemies you don't have to deal with later if you kill enough of them. I mean, you can't get very many killed, but... Did I equip the wrong class? No, I didn't. Okay. Alright, so there's a dash. So this is the dash. You can actually dash running away as well. Which is pretty crazy. I think I'm strong enough to fight these enemies on hard. The weirdest thing was... was your weapon change is on, uh, circle. Like, who, who uses circle to change weapons? It's so bad. This weapon is so bad, speaking of which. And they had active reloads on all the weapons, which I don't like, honestly. Because it... It makes you have to focus on the screen rather than, than the surroundings, which I never liked. Especially if you have to be up in the reloads all the time. I'm gonna overheat. I need to be careful here. I remember there being some kind of an exploit? Not exploit, but I mean, if you tap the trigger really fast, like bare like this, you could float forever. You could fly forever, as you can see. But of course, that's not very fun to do. <laughs> But there, that was a way to fly forever, I do remember that. Um, I also remember these guys, these two guys, they would always... They were like the most loyal people you ever could... You ever, I don't want to talk about it. The most loyal people you could ever could meet, because as soon as you went down, they would run through like... Mortar fire, and enemy fire, and Hectors, and Scorpions, and... and Everything they would run to to pick you up, no matter what. They they would always do their best. This weapon sucks, to be honest with you. I may not be strong enough to fight on hard here with this jet lifter. But this is a great game. I really liked this game, but it just was too short. That was the problem. And also the missions were too similar to each other, as far as like the locations and stuff. But yeah, once your bots went down, you had to actually go revive them. Remember that, so... I'm not sure how I feel about this. I'm thinking I might just retreat now. Um, because I think my weapons aren't strong enough for hard. I'll just play on normal with Jet Lifter until I get stronger with it. Because I don't want it to be too, you know... Too annoying. Let's do normal. And this mission. Strike yes. force lightning. EDF Once I get some better weapons, it'll be fine. Though. Be your but like I said, As this mission, know, this Earth game is, is so short that I'm thinking what I want to do is to be I want to, to play this We're game invaders, more than one time ravages, through on this Let's Play and like name, unlock stuff and, and just learn the classes the because a particularly large I don't think you can get enough just from one playthrough, you know of this particular game, so... It's crazy how a load screen, there's no load screen, it's just... I guess it's loading in the background while you're selecting your gear and stuff, which is smart, you know? But yeah, you get a lot less points on the lower difficulties, so... Of course, the way to farm credits was to play it on the hardest difficulty and play on a mission where it had a lot of enemies that kept respawning, and... 
That's kind of wish. That's kind of what I wished Iron Rain would have done, where you could actually farm credits in in the missions itself rather than having to play one mission um, for three minutes and then go through the load screens, which are long load screens, and then do it again. It's more fun, I think, to kill enemies than to farm than just play a mission. But I don't know. That's just me personally. Maybe they didn't want you to farm that way. They wanted you to play missions. So. But uh, I'm not sure. Yeah, I thought I was playing the the tactical troop or whatever it's called, tactical armor, because I saw the auto turret in the bottom left, and they have auto turrets, but no, that's just the gun. Come on, kill them, kill some of them. My goodness. All right, let's see if this is any better. What is this weapon? It looks absolutely terrible. One thing I remember in this game was um, when you get the more more uh, high level weapons, some of them were so intensively graphically intense that I remember the game trying to crash on some of those missiles for the heavy. I think it was the battle guy. Um, the, well, they, like, the missiles would go straight up in the air and they come down. But you, the, the game would want to crash because there's so much going on the screen, so you had to look away from the screen to keep it from freezing or crashing. I don't know if it's, if it's still like that, but um, I remember that being the case way back. Yeah, I can actually kill stuff now, so this feels a little better. But like I said, I want to I wanna make this a long Let's Play. I just I want to really go back to this game and and see how it feels, see what it's like, and get to see some of the high-level weapons. So we'll see how that's going to work out. But and try all the classes, of course. But I will be doing that the first time through, is switching classes each mission. Because I still have, I have like rank 5 on some of my classes. And, and then Trooper, I think, is the lowest rank 1 only, but... But yeah, you had old man, you had kid. I think that was just the jokes off of the, uh, the names of some of the old... EDF, uh, like some of the things they would call each other in the other EDF games. I believe that's what it's from. But they didn't really want you to fly much in this game unless you, you know, did that uh, trigger tapping as thing. It was more of just a uh, little, just, you know, barely flying a little bit, which I don't know if I necessarily mind. But some of the negatives of this game was just there's a lot of go to this point and and set off a beacon and then wait and defend. So it all comes down to the missions really in these games. Like nothing has beat the mainline series as far as just the mission variety and the mission uh, interest. You know how interesting the missions were. It's always been the problem with these spin-offs, and I wish they would just I don't know either consult the main team, or... I don't know. They also made this one with checkpoints, I believe, which is also a strange thing for the series, trying to make it more western, I guess, or modern, but... I don't know. I guess it's fine to try something different, but... The missions need some love, for sure. The game doesn't look bad. Construction doesn't look too bad. I don't know if these are going to keep coming. I probably should just head over here and just do what they want me to do. Approach the lander and activate the transponder module. Okay, hold Y. Okay, we're receiving data. Looks like there are no survivors and the lander is not salvageable. The jet looks Lightning, pretty cool. You need so to I like the way they look. The lander. We've added a pulse signal to the self The sprint on the jet's sequence. very fast too, which is nice. Any nearby ravages and take them out in the blast. Make sure you get out of the blast radius prior to detonation or... Well, it won't be good. Got what do you mean it won't be good? Watch this. Knife activated again for some reason. Really? Little poop shooter doesn't look very strong. The blast doesn't hurt you that much. Watch this. It won't be good here. Watch. Come on. Wait. There we go. See, I thought that bad. 
So if you fly and then hit the boost, oh, you guess I guess it does not. Okay. Remember there being like a five-way goat strike or something that was like the major weapon for Jet in this game, where it just shot and homed in on and on five different targets or something. It was very strong. I just remember certain weapons being pretty good. But I think the reason these guys are troopers is because when they revive you, um, they can revive you fast, and it's good for the AI. But yeah, another weird thing is, as you can see on my, on my left side is my health, but if you get uh, health when you're full, you get armor, which is just, you know, an extra health bar is all. Yeah, these anthills you couldn't just destroy. You had to. You don't have. You don't have to like hit the hole until it gets uh, closed, but you. But it helps, of course. And then you go and uh, then you go and uh, set detonation on it. Which I kind of like because it makes it a little bit more difficult. You can't just uh, you know run away and snipe it from far away. You have to actually deal with it up close, which makes it tougher, of course. I might have to use that flying trick eventually, I don't know if I play on the higher difficulties. I'd probably play on the higher difficulties for my, like, rank 5 class and so forth, just to see how, you know, I might as well, because I have the weapons and stuff, but... As far as the weapons, how they worked in this game, um, once you ranked up, got enough experience to rank up, you would unlock that tier of weapons and then you could buy them with credits. However, also bosses would drop, um, I believe they were random weapon crates and you would try and unlock those uh, hidden weapons as well, which I think they showed them, I think they were shown like in, they were like blacked out or something, so you know, you know if you got them all or not. I'm not sure if that's true or not, but I thought that was how that worked. So there's kind of like a random factor as well as a just a, you know, farming, grinding to get the weapon you want. But you could never, you could never try before you buy it, unfortunately. But I guess I don't, it's not a huge deal to me, personally. Yeah, I remember some of the later weapons for Jet looked a lot cooler than this little, little poop shooter thing is... The low-level weapons are pretty underwhelming, as they should be. So I guess we're helping these guys out. I personally didn't like the voice acting in this game. I mean, I guess it wasn't terrible, it's just... Oh my goodness, I overheated. Can I still run? Yeah, you can still sprint when you're overheated, that's crazy. That's kind of... It doesn't really, like, penalize you much for being overheated, because... The sprint is super fast for the jet lifter. The wing diver. I'll call it the wrong name, don't worry. Every time. Activated a new waypoint that marks its location. Proceed to the anthill and neutralize it. Okay, over here. I'm not sure how I feel about the sprint. Like if I'd want it in EDF five or not. For the Ranger. I don't I don't think I would. But I, I don't know. I guess I'd have to test it out more, but I really like the sprint they, they put in EDF 5, personally. I just don't know if this would be better. That wasn't too bad. I wonder if there's people still playing this game. There wasn't like, you couldn't like look at rooms unfortunately, oh my goodness. You couldn't look at rooms unfortunately in this game, you had to just um, join uh, through quick match I believe. Which okay, is kind of unfortunate. I have placed a new waypoint on your map marking the location of the EDF supply dump. Make your way over there and refit. And make it quick. You have more ravages incoming. Yeah, here's Waiting a bunch of health over here. I got a whole bunch of health on the map. My goodness. 
And here is Mr. Hector Ramirez. You didn't see him in the first mission, which is crazy. These guys were kind of were kind of cool. I like the way they look. They were a little tough to deal with. And if you hit him in the chest, I believe they did more damage. Man, look how fast Jet Core is. So crazy. Like, if they would have made a little bit longer of a game, I think this would be... Oh my goodness, my controller barriers are low. Um, if they would have made a little bit longer of a game, I think it would have been so much better. Because this game had a lot of potential. Oh, wow, he's better, I think. Yeah, normal. He didn't drop a weapon, but sometimes I believe they do. Even the Hectors. Probably should plug my controller in. For the new waypoint and mop up any ravages you encounter along the way. But I don't I'm using my USB port for my for my capture card. This is the end of the first mission though, I do remember that. I played these missions so many times that it's hard not to remember most of the missions. Um, because unfortunately they wanted you to grind a lot in this game, so you had to uh, play the missions over and over again, which can get boring. I guess the remix mode was nice. That did help for league replayability a little bit. But all right, okay, there we go. They even score the other, the NPCs as well. So the upgrades I got. Okay, there I go. I leveled up, getting to level rank three, or I'm rank three. Um, it tells you what you get. Okay, so you're, you're actually, your um, flying is, is actually improved. I forgot about that. So now we're on mission two, yeah, okay. Lightning, new tasking orders incoming. HQ has received a distress signal from Firebase. So, um, the yeah, so you actually get more efficient flying. That's interesting. That's kind of cool. I like that. But see, now I'm tier three. I guess I wasn't tier three earlier, so now I have access to these weapons. Um, but, um, like, for example, th this weapon right here with the little radioactive symbol means it's a weapon that drops from a boss. You need to fight a boss to get that thing to drop for you. But, um, as you can see, I already have the, the Tier 2 one unlocked. I think you get it for all classes, from no matter what class you're playing, these weapons. So, uh, the radioactive ones. So then you have to just save for what you want to buy, and then... So, yeah, I think, um... I think I'll just end it here because there's 12 missions and um, I'll probably switch classes for the next mission and then like I said once I get done with the game I'm probably gonna go back and uh, and uh, try and explore this class a little bit more so so yeah I guess uh, tell me your experiences with this game um, did you like it or what you thought of it and uh, just uh, and then just, I guess, yeah, just share your comments as far as what you think about the game. I'm curious, because um, I, I, like I said, I like this game, but there's definitely some flaws, mainly how short it was. But, uh, but yeah, um, once again, thanks a lot for watching. And remember, Eve is leave a man behind, ever. And if you're interested in ways to support the channel, please consider hitting the join button, next to the subscribe button, or watching a few ads or sharing the channel with someone. It does help financially. It's very much appreciated. Thanks a lot.